Hey yo, what's good? We are back here again with today. I didn't even plan for that to happen, but I sp fuck. I know. I'm sorry. I haven't uploaded in like 10 years. I don't even know how long it's been. I'm sorry. But you see this? It says world's best boss. I know it probably is backwards. I don't fucking know. We'll see where it's at. World's best boss. I'm the world's best boss. I didn't spell that time. I'm sorry. I haven't uploaded in like 10 fucking years, like I said. But like I said, it. <laughs> fuck. It's been so long. I'm sorry. Every time I come back, I'm like, I'm back. I'm gonna upload every day. We're just back to upload fucking videos, man. I'm gonna be grinding again. I know I say that every fucking time. I'm just not even gonna say anymore. I'm just gonna fucking do it. I'm just gonna make videos and grind my ass off. Oh no, I got a fucking coffee stain. Fuck. Yes, we are back. This is the last time I actually fucking uploaded. Let's see this shit. 41 days. 42 days. Oh my fuck. Wow. That's over a month. I've like uploaded like four videos in the past like two months, three months. Oh no, man. We, we are falling off here. Been still active on Twitter, active on my social media. I just haven't been uploading the videos. What big thing has happened in the past, you know, month or so? Huh. Oh, I got a girlfriend kind of. I mean, I did. But that's a story for another day. <laughs> Where are you going to be eating at the worst reviewed restaurant in my city? And what do you know? It's none other than Panda Express. I've never ate a Panda Express in the first place. I don't like Chinese food that much. I've only had Chinese food twice and once was last week and it made me feel like shit. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna be eating at Panda Express. It has like a two star on the Yelp. I also don't live in a big city, so that's why it's a two star. But it does have a decent amount of reviews. So let's uh, let's see these reviews real quick. Okay, this review is a one star three months ago from John C. It's John C. Don't give this place a chance. Ooh, okay, okay. Expect McDonald's type service times my so what? Expect McDonald's type service. Oftentimes my sauces or sides were left out. McDonald's does have a passive, you know, for getting shit. They fucked up my order a little bit ago. Just about every time I go there, they're out of the main items. Maybe they're just busy, I, I guess. Such so as noodles and orange chicken, yeah. Okay, how can a Chinese place be out of fucking noodles? Okay, yeah, that, that's 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 our flag. But let's keep going. Get this place and check out China Star Down. Okay, hear me out guys. What if John works for Chinatown and he's just, you know, giving himself publicity? I don't know, man. I don't know. So it's my kid's favorite and I don't mind the food for essentially, for, okay, next grammar bro. Pre-made Chinese food, but what gets us every time is a poor service and extremely uncut dining area. We're not gonna be in there because you guys know the, uh, <coughs> Disease going around. I guess we can see the service. It's like nobody on the staff seems to care. Okay. I, I hear a lot about the staff being crap there. Three months ago, you never know, they might have cleaned it up. This one's a two star from a year ago. Okay. Men's room was out of order. Ice machine was out of. I <laughs> Why is that funny to me? And one employee took up the only large booth for their break. So my family was forced to cramp into a table for four people. Okay. It's a pretty big. Panda Express, so, but they only have one booth. Okay, that's that's kind of weird. Okay, let's go to a five-star review. You know, we have some positivity in here because you never know, guys, it might be freaking bomb, might be the bomb.com. You know, they do have gourmet Chinese food, even though it's a fast food restaurant. I don't get it. How can people honestly get Panda Express and Mankato only two stars? Okay, okay, we're starting up strong here. I'm giving five, not because they are stupendous and out of this world, but for fast food, they offer good selections. Okay, okay, you know, some noodles, some noodle type beat. Steamed rice, not fried. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Too sweet at times, but a lot of good flavors. So I got to say, I look forward to getting Pan Express. They have really great stuff too. Okay, okay. Go to Pan Express. We're gonna try their food. I don't even know what I'm gonna get because I haven't ate there before. Super nervous. I just hope that the food is actually good, but I don't like Chinese food that much. I mean, I can eat it, but it's just not my favorite, man. I prefer American food, you know, cheeseburger. <laughs> Let's go to Pan Express though. Hopefully, hopefully it's good, I guess. Okay, dude, I actually hate Minnesota weather. It's super fucking cold, but it's like December now, which is crazy. Oh my god. Also, I know this is okay, look at that lighting, bro. I know this is really off topic, but how many of you guys survived No Not November? <laughs> Probably the worst question I've ever asked you guys, but leave it down below. How many of you guys survived No Not November? But we're gonna be on our way to Panda Express, a little bit of a drive. I'm freaking nervous, man. I already know what I want. I looked at the menu. Here at Panda Express, look at this motherfucking line also. Holy fuck. Literally, I'm all the way back here. Guess I didn't read the Yelp reviews. Oh, am I right? So I think I'm gonna get fried teriyaki chicken. And I know this lighting's bad. This sun is literally just right there. I'm gonna get fried teriyaki chicken with some fried rice. I literally, I hate my, this life of a YouTuber, bro. Like, yeah, I can't do shit about it. It's creepy as fuck, bro. Yeah, we're gonna get that. Super excited. It might take a while. Like, you see this line right here? We're moving, though. A few moments later. Uh, can I get a grilled teriyaki chicken? In a potato bowl. Uh, bowl. Do you want fried rice or something with that? Uh, fried rice. Do you want teriyaki sauce? 
Uh, n yes, please. Anything else at all? Do you have or anything? Nope. Oh, we're nervous here, boys. Hey, look, the sun's back. Honestly, guys, I actually realized that I didn't have my camera on the right setting. I haven't uploaded videos in like 10 fucking years, like I said. So it looks better now. Yeah. I'm stupid. I hate myself. I'm curious with the customer support. Is that what's called? Service. Customer service, though. $6.94. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. Okay, so first thoughts. Customer service, I guess, was good. They were a little slow with a couple of them. I guess you can't really get customer service if you're going through a drive through What? We have it right here. Presentation comes in a bag, a plastic bag. Cool. I mean, I assume that's probably normal for all y'all. So yeah, I'll probably need to know that. It smells really good too. Okay, so I'm actually super nervous about this. Let's um, hold. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we got teriyaki chicken. It actually smells. Super fucking good. I'm actually kind of excited for that and there's rice in here. Okay. Okay. It smells really fucking good Which is I guess a really good sign and of course we got some sauces here some teriyaki sauce and some Soy sauce Not gonna be using any of that. We got a fork. I guess before we get this started off. Let's open up our fork quickly Let's see what the vibe is today. Okay, it's gonna get a, oh, yep. There we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've never been a big fan of fortune cookies, but these are pretty good. Okay, okay. Happiness is around the corner. Wealth is down the street. Okay, let's go. Let's open up, you know, the main entree. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep, fail. Oh, yep. There we go. Okay, that was strong. It smells pretty fucking good. Not gonna cap. So that's a good sign, I guess. It's also not that expensive too, which is a really good thing. Price, maybe it's gonna be good. Maybe it's gonna be my go-to meal. But let's see if this is either Chinese gourmet or a bus. Okay. First bite, teriyaki chicken, let's see. Okay, okay, and, okay, okay. Teriyaki chicken was nice, you already know the vibe. Let's try the rice real quick. Okay, oh, so far, so good. Oh wait, okay, I thought that was a piece of hair, but it's part of the chicken, <laughs> imagine. This tastes pretty good. For $6, this is a W so far. Wow, I wouldn't say it's gourmet Chinese food, because it's just fucking rice in a bowl with chicken. I mean, I don't know what the fuck the definition of gourmet is, but I don't think it's that. Okay, I've said okay like 10 times in this video, I'm sorry. But this chicken is a W. The rice is iffy, but I'm also not a big fan of rice. There's only a specific kinds of rice that I like. So I get a pass, but like the aftertaste is good, but like the initial taste isn't, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't know what it is, but the initial taste is kind of dog for me. Then the aftertaste is fucking splendid. I can't get over this fucking chicken though. Okay, so I don't know why this place has a rated of two stars. You know, here, just for that, let me go to Yelp. Give a five star review for this place, okay? I won't say it's a five star meal, but you know, just to help model a bit. First, this is so good. Food was the bomb.com. Let's review. There we go. That's the first time I've ever reviewed a place. But like I said, food's really good. I love this fucking chicken though. I will go back just for this fucking chicken. Let's try rice plus the chicken. Hold up. That hits the spot. Well, I guess a final rebuttal. It's not my favorite place, but it definitely is like at least a four star. But I would go there again. So I guess that's a plus. This is really good. I'm happy. I was so hungry. I didn't eat all day just for this moment. And it did not disappoint. Really risking it all over here. Guess I would definitely go there again. Pan Express. I mean, I guess you can't really check out this Pan Express because it's in but fuck no. Pan Express is good though. Shout out to them. Shout out to the pandas who made this. Wait, what if it's actual panda? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, and we are now back at the crib. As you guys can see, back in the office, back in the lab. And I can't even really say the lab because it's phased absent. But I'm going to cut off today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. I'm so excited to be back, man. The videos are going to be pumping out. My thing was, I think that, you know, like I kind of got burnt out and I didn't think I'd enjoy this as much as I did. Because when I do like sit down videos, which I have been doing, it just like I don't want to edit them. Like, it's so boring to edit, man. They turn out pretty good, but they're so boring edit i love doing vlogs i love just walking on entertaining you guys man and also my setup looks a little bit different too it's in the other side of the room and i also put my other tv or monitor thing i use it as a monitor into the bedroom so i can watch tv in there now and i bought a laptop for black friday as you guys can see so now when i travel man yeah i didn't know we're gonna be keeping up with the uploads man i'm so excited to be back man thank you guys for watching me thank you guys for sticking on after a month and a half of not uploading man if you guys gonna be back, but if you guys are gonna be back, guys, I will see you. Yes, you, I fucking love you. You are beautiful. I love you. Again, uh, peace the fuck out.